In this video I'm going to do silk nail wrap extensions with hard gel. Coming up! I will use one of my favorite nudes NSI Bodybuilder Cover Pink Warm Gel, C-Curve Tools, also pre-cut silk wraps and the gel clamp, the plastic clamp to pinch the gel, brush for gel it's number 7 oval and my nail is already prepped. I will apply dehydrator and non-acid primer and a thin layer of the base coat for gel. So the prep is very much similar for how I prep nails for the hard gel extensions because this is basically what we are going to do. Now cure for 30 seconds and then I will cut the size that I think might work for my thumb. So I will separate it with orange wood stick. This is the adhesive seal wrap. And I also have a sticky layer on my nail, so there will not be any problem of adhering it. And then I will connect one side of the nail and go all the way to the other side. So I saw this method on Instagram when people just use this silk wrap to do the free edge and then they use hard gel to create the whole extensions. And I just got curious, maybe it really works. So wanted to try it. So you see this side is okay, but on that side we definitely not have enough product right here. So the sidewall will be definitely missing. So we just need a larger size. Okay, let's just remove it. And I have to choose the biggest size. Oh my God, I didn't know my thumbs are so big. I cut off a little of the biggest size of the silk and also, let's make it shorter and we'll try to adhere it again. Separate it with an orange wood stick, so try not to touch the adhesive part. And now let's see if it fits now. So the most important part is that it should be fit from one side to the other. And you don't have to go all the way up like this, but unfortunately my nail has a very deep smile line. So this is the lowest point where I need to fit it. So now it looks pretty good. I will apply base coat again since that one is not sticky anymore. And then without curing, I will apply silk wrap just on top. So it will saturate with the gel right away. So once again, with the orange wood stick, I move the wrap a little bit to one side and to the other. And now you can see that it's pretty easy to work with as we have gel underneath. And the base coat I was using is, by the way, the Sokov base coat by Cupa. This is one of my favorite ones. And if you notice some spots that don't have enough product on them, you can always take the brush with the base coat and add a little. And also make sure there are no bubbles inside, because if we will cure with the bubbles, unfortunately, there is no way we can fix it. So I'm just adding a little more gel. The easiest way to check it is that we don't have to have any white spots. Cure for 30 seconds and now let's begin. For now it looks exactly what I saw in that tutorial, so I take a little of builder gel and stretch it down the nail and oh my god, this feels so weird, like I'm applying gel on some soft fabric. <laughs> well. Actually, that's what I am doing now, but it's just so uncomfortable. I mean, it's okay because I'm doing it on myself, that it's just one nail that I have my glove on, but I just cannot imagine doing this on all 10 nails on my client. So from this first step, I kind of already feel that it might not work for me. But I, I don't know, maybe there is some reason people like this method. So I'm trying to seal the free edge and then cure for 30 seconds. Now let's try to pinch it. I will use C-Curve tool and then apply the gel clamp on the top. And um, you know what? Never mind. Just take it off and cure for 30 seconds without that. That was obviously too early. It's too thin for now. Okay, now then I apply another layer of gel. So what I do, I take a little bit of hard gel and apply it all over the surface. And wow, it's so easy to miss some spot on this free edge because it's just moving back and forth. And it's pretty hard to check it because the surface is just not solid. 
Okay, that's enough of complaining of how uncomfortable I am. And now I will take more gel and just do this standard procedure that I do when I apply hard gel. So usually I start with the cuticle and go right and left and carefully slide towards the free edge. So this area where I have my nail underneath, I don't experience any problems, it just feels normal. But as I switch to the free edge, I really don't know how to act because I try to not push it and to work lightly, but it still moves and I have no idea how to do this even layer in such circumstances. But okay, let's just freeze cure it for 20 seconds and then I need to pinch it because I want a nice curved nail and this is what all clients in Russia strive for. I mean, if you do not do the curve, it's just they will kill you. Okay, now from the side view, you can see that I even managed to push it up a little bit because my nail grows downwards and this is what I usually do with the regular forms. I push them up a little bit to make my nails look straight and it even worked with the silk wrap. So you know what, maybe it was too early to make these assumptions that it's bad, that it's not working for me, because for now it does look like something of the nail extension already. So now I need to add more product to the free edge, to the apex area and to build the structure of the nail. I kind of regret already that I made it so long. I mean, you know, the longer nail is, the more work, especially with hard gel. But on the other hand, any experiments are always good on long nails, because if it will work for long nails, it will definitely work for medium and short length. So I'm just trying to add more product. As you can see, there are small parts of silk on the sidewalls that are a little bit bothering me, but I just want to focus on the apex and to build the proper structure. So after that, I will freeze cure it again for about 20 seconds as this is an LED gel and pinch it again because this is how hard gels work. They don't like when somebody pinches them. Now let me show you from the side view how it looks and then I will fully cure it for one minute. And now I need to apply gel underneath as well because we just cannot leave it like that. We cannot just leave silk wrap underneath. Cure for one minute and do not forget when curing the product underneath you need to hold the nail the same way. So the underneath of the nail should face up. Now I apply more product and obviously just not enough product there yet. And yes, I could do this in just one step, but if you want a nice curve, if you want this nail to be pinched, especially with the silk wrap, because I have some doubts if it would be easier to pinch if I would apply a very thick layer right away. So I just wanted to keep it in a multiple layers, but honestly, I'm already kind of tired of that. Really, I wish I made it smaller. Okay, so I just need once again more on apex, a little bit more on the sides and a little bit more here. And then I will again freeze cure it for a few seconds and pinch it again. Now let me show you how the curve looks like from this view. You see nice deep curve. That's what our clients always expect from us. Finally, fully cured for one minute and Oh my god, it's so long. I definitely need to file it shorter right away. Do not forget to remove the sticky layer underneath as well, since we added the product there. And you know what? I will just take my nail drill and file off the rest of the length, because it will just take forever. Okay, much better. Ooh, check this out. Now, this is what we call natural looking nails. You have this white residue the same way as you have after filing the natural nails. And yeah, so if your clients want something that does look natural, maybe this might work. Now, let's get rid of this white stuff. And oh my god, it is so annoying. It's just like a fishtail. I don't know. It's just flapping back and forth. And no, the natural nail is much better. You just file it a couple of times and it falls off, unlike this silk thing. I mean, you just, it just doesn't want to go off. Well, okay, let's just keep filing. I hope eventually it will fall off. 
After filing the free edge, I want to make sure that the side walls are straight. And since the side walls were created basically by steel crab, they are almost ideal from the beginning, so there is not much to file. And for now, when I'm filing the surface, it is no different than filing a regular hard gel nail. Well, because basically that's what it is. And oh my god, I cannot believe this, they're still there. So I buff the nail and then cut them off with my super straight and sharp scissors because I just don't want that fuzziness to be on my nail. Like, I didn't expect it would be so hard. Okay, and it's not filing it off as well. So I decided to add more gel underneath, like a thin layer all over this underneath surface and then I will cure it and also seal it with a no wipe top coat and cure it again. Now hopefully these small particles now they are hard and it will not be complicated to file them off. Yes, finally got rid of this fuzzy parts and we can proceed. Okay, so also I usually buff the skin around the nail to get rid of all the dry parts. If you would like to learn how to do dry electric file manicure, I have an online course on it. I will leave the link down below with all the information. Now my favorite part, top coat application and sealing. It feels so good because this is the last step. Apply the top coat, cure it in LED and we are done. So, to sum it up, the nail does look like a regular nail, but all the time and effort and products involving to create this were definitely not worth it. I will not be using this method for sure. I don't have anything against steel crabs, they're great for fixing broken nails, cracks on the nails, but not for extensions with hard gels. What do you guys think? Have you tried this method or you just use them for fixing broken nails? Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, do not forget to subscribe as I post new tutorials every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.